California 1913. One year after their creation, the Keystone Studios hum with activity. Founded by Max Sennett, Keystone virtually releases a film every other day. The negatives are used to make an average of 50 prints without any special care. It's not unusual to see an incident destroy the negative long before 50. The films circulate throughout the United States. And because the Keystone productions are so popular, and the projectors sometimes so poorly maintained, most of the original prints are simply worn out. After several hundred screenings, the prints become unusable. The sprockets are torn, the image crisscrossed with black and white scratches, the film is full of splices and missing frames, having been dragged across the floors of projection booths or clumsily loaded on the projector, and real ends soon wear out. This is some 20 years before the first film archives were created. At the time, no one thinks of preserving films. When movies begin to talk in the late 20s, it is a tragedy for the stars of the silent screen. Even if Max Sennett resumes producing movies under his own name, by 1917, the Keystone Company has ceased to exist. What remains of the negatives is sold off at auctions by Wade. But nostalgia for silent movies leads to create a worldwide movement to lobby for preservation. Film collectors begin to emerge. Some very valuable films in here. As a matter of fact, this vault is as hard to get into as the United States treasure. See what I mean? <laughs> mm. oh, what a spot for a vacuum cleaner concession. Looks like the film cut it out to lunch. I wonder what he left on here. Hey, come on. Time is hard on all reels of film. After a while, the film shrinks, the perforations are torn, and the nitrate base is chemically unstable. Heat and humidity usually take their toll. And after several decades, even if well preserved, the images deteriorate, the film grows sticky and is reduced to powder. Of the 35 films Chaplin shot for Keystone, some titles were still missing a few years ago. Her friend The Bandit hasn't been seen since its first release in 1914. In other films, some sequences are still missing. The end of his musical career, the close-up of Chaplin at the end of Kids Auto Races, not to mention the shot of its stars taking a final curtain call in Tilly's Punch and Romance. Though some films have survived in almost perfect condition, most only exist today with poor picture quality or in truncated, re-edited versions, using several films to make a new one. Intertitles are replaced, but most of all, images are duped too many times. Every time, the contrast gets stronger and stronger, dust and scratches are photographed, or the image loses its sharpness. Sometimes, the edges are suppressed so that the flaws are not visible. If a soundtrack is added, it eliminates the entire left-hand side of the image. There's worse. Since projectors no longer run at the original speed of 18 frames per second, but at 24 frames per second to improve the restitution of sound films, Charlie, already fuzzy, scratched and unstable, starts walking faster. Gestures are jumpy, the films feel aggressive and unpleasant, and gradually, Historians develop the notion that these early films have no interest and make for painful viewing. In fact, by late 1914, without any special publicity from the studio, Chaplin has acquired an unrivaled reputation and an adoring public that keeps asking for more. 
Because these films stood out for their scripts and performances, as well as their picture quality, we had to try our best to show them again as they first appeared. In 2003, under the aegis of the Chaplin Association, three international film archives officially launched the Chaplin Keystone Project. Its aim is to restore what remains of these 35 titles. The British Film Institute in London, the Cineteca di Bologna in Italy, and Lobster in Paris pooled their collections, technical resources, and contacts throughout the world. For four years, the project's directorial team has gathered all the prints dispersed around the globe. As the inventory proceeds, reconstruction work can begin. Every element, both positive and negative, is closely examined, frame by frame, and analyzed for sharpness, contrast, scratches, or defects on the sides of the frame and overall condition. A log is made, listing the best surviving elements for each shot or shot fragment. The selected fragments are then put through an optical printer to preserve the image on a negative which would last about 1,000 years. The image is thus preserved for posterity. Wet gate printing is used to remove minor surface scratches. The reconstruction of the film is then completed by computer. Thanks to digital technology, the different fragments are made consistent in high definition. The image, often shaky in the original print, is stabilized. Remaining minor scratches and large spots are removed manually or automatically. At the same time, the intertitles are recreated in a style closest to what specialists consider their original form. All that remains to be done now is to assemble the shots in order. Sometimes, in the middle of a shot, the nature of the image suddenly changes. The opening shots of a scene may have survived in an incomplete print of very good quality, whereas the end of the film comes from mediocre material or in an element where the sides are missing. Here is the original shot of the best surviving print of the new janitor, unfortunately with a small gap in the middle of the scene. Now, let's look at the same scene, fully reconstituted, thanks to an American print of slightly inferior quality. The case of Between Showers is even more spectacular. Here is where the only known 35mm print ends. And here is the ending, salvaged from a mediocre 16mm print of unknown origin, with large gaps on the sides, but complete and acquired over an internet website for a few dollars. The final step is the grading, which makes light levels and contrast consistent. At the right speed, with music played in the appropriate style, these films come back to life before our eyes and make sense. The restoration work is complete, now to be forgotten. We can now once again discover these 35 films, as complete and wonderful as possible. 35? No, only 34, since her friend the bandit is still missing today. Well, wasn't that fun seeing your old favorite?
That means they do both this film is fight. If anything ever happened to it, I don't know what